Hey guys, this is Stacia De Kaima. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time viewing, I want to say welcome. And if you're a long time subscriber, thanks for sticking with me. Today's video, I am going to be doing my takedown. I have had these crochets in my hair for six weeks now. I've actually been wearing crochets since Christmas. So it's been a while. I took them out and I put these back in. So now I'm going to be taking out these crochets and I'm going to be prepping my hair for my relaxer. So this is my takedown video. I'm going to be undoing these cornrows. Look at all this new growth that I have. Look at all that new growth. So I'm going to be taking these cornrows out and we will see what we're working with. Relaxer day is coming soon. All right. So we are going to do our takedown. Oh, my head is itching. I'm sure you guys know all about that. Um, so crochets have been in for six weeks. I am 22 weeks post relaxer. It is time for your girl to get her touch up. It's time for me to get that relaxer. It will be the first one for 2021. So I try to make sure that my hair um, is not too dry when I'm taking it out. And so I have my coconut oil. Um, I should say this is my um, leave-in conditioner. So I just ran some of that on top of the braid and down the length of the hair. And I'm going to put my oil down um, the part. Okay. So I usually just crack this nozzle. I don't open it all the way because I don't want the oil coming pouring through. So I'm just going to run it down the part like so. And then I'm going to rub it into the new growth before I start undoing the braids. I'm trying to get my new growth, my roots as soft as possible to all that new growth I'm just going to massage it in and it is going to make that like really nice and soft you guys can see how much new growth I have here look at that I'm not scratching I'm just massaging it into the um the oil into the the hair that's all I'm doing here Yep, just massaging it in to the hair, not scratching. All right, so now I'm going to start taking these out. It's a tiny one over here. Got some dirt buildup. Yeah, so I... I'm getting my relaxer pretty soon and I don't like getting a relaxer with my hair tangled because it just makes it's not good um, especially when I need to like wash it out so that's why I want my new growths soft when I'm taking these out because I want to detangle each section as I take it out and I'm going to lose some hair. It's been in here for a while now. So it's been in here for six weeks. So there's going to be a lot of shedding going on. So I'm just trying to take this one step at a time as I take this down. Now, typically when I do my takedown, I usually wear my hair in the crinkle, you know, the braid out, crinkle, crinkly curls. I usually enjoy that for about a day. After a day, it's like, you know, but it's usually a tangled mess right after. So I'm not going to be doing that right now because I know I am prepping for my relaxer. Yes, I 
have been doing these protective styles. Um, I did two stretches with my, my crochets as a protective style. So it was basically, I think 12 weeks. I did six weeks and six weeks and then another six weeks. So yeah, 12 weeks of those gorgeous, gorgeous crochets. You can see them right here. I loved, I love, love, love this hair. I'm gonna continue to get these. I got them from my local dollar, from my, what am I saying? My local beauty supply store. But I'm sure you can grab it on Amazon if you searched. They have everything. If I find it there, I'll leave a link here in this description. I have to go search for it. I didn't get it from there, so I don't even know what their price would be. I know I paid like six seven dollars a pack and i used two and a half packs in my hair two black and then the, the gold bronze whatever color that is and then a half of that pack the dirt build up and Again. And it's it's not dry at all because I keep it moisturized and then I did put some um, leave-in conditioner along my hair before I started and then I moisturize my roots. So it's not dry at all. We, we shouldn't be combing our hair when it's like dry. So if you're undoing your braids and your hair is like really dry, don't comb it out get it moisturized first so i'm just like detangling these new growth right now and at the same time i'm rubbing in my oil that i just ran along the, the part I'm loosening that up then i'm going to detangle this section Gotta loosen up some more hair. If you comb and then you run into like a snag or a knot or something, don't try to comb that out. Just go in and try to detangle it with your finger, okay? Don't try to pull that through because you're gonna break your hair. So we don't want any of those. <sighs> It's the shedding for me right now. Shedding. It's hard to, t to watch, <laughs> but it's normal. So just gotta deal with it. I really like to do this part before I put a relaxer. Can you imagine? I've done this before. Imagine taking out, um, your braids from a long stretch and not getting rid of all this shedding prior and then you just go straight and you get a relaxer and when you're washing your hair out you see all this dead hair just falling out from a relaxer guys i did this once and i thought i was gonna go bald I thought it was a problem with the relaxer. And I really thought I was like, oh my God, my hair is all, my hair is falling out. Thought I was gonna go bald, but didn't go through the process of detangling and getting all that dead hair out of my head prior. So all this that I'm doing right now, I didn't do that. And it was like, two months of dead hair, two months of shedding that needed to come out, that came out while I was washing that relaxer out of my hair. You guys have no idea. 
the horror <laughs> I went through. I don't know if anybody has done that before. If you have, tell me about it in the comments. I want to know. I know I can't be alone. I cannot be alone. But, you know, you live and you learn. Because I'm not doing that again. You live and you learn. Well, you should learn. Going through, detangling this hair. And I'm going to prep. Watch out for my next video. I'm gonna show you guys how I am prepping my hair for my relaxer. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be doing that. And it's gonna be an overnight thing so that I can just get up and start in the morning. So watch out for that video. I'm gonna release that next week. And it's a new, um, a new process that I'm gonna be doing. I have seen a few people do it. And it seems so effective. So I'm gonna be trying it out and see if it can cut my time down. I like to get my relaxer in, in my head in 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 25 tops. So gonna see if that makes it faster for me. It should make it faster because of all the prep work that I'm doing beforehand. And you see how we detangle? We definitely start and work our way up. And then we come to the root and then we just loosen it up and bring it all the way out. Minimal breakage. I'm gonna show you guys how much hair I have when I'm done here. Oof, not a pretty sight. Not at all. This is my last one. All right, y'all, I'm done. And you can see, I just sectioned it all. Everything is detangled in little twists. Sectioned them all. And look at all the hair that came out. Look at all that. Yep, just lost all that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. So that's it. Um, that is my takedown and prep for my relaxer. So I did my takedown and detangle, right? Because we want to make sure that when we apply relaxer, our hair is fully detangled. We do not want to have relaxer in tangled hair because when you're washing that out, you're going to lose a whole lot of hair and it's just not, it's not going to be healthy. You're going to have to try to detangle hair with a fresh relaxer and it's it's going to be in a in a much weaker state um than it is right now okay and the detangling process it um it is tedious it takes a long time but um we need to have some patience with our relaxed hair if we want to have healthy hair and we want to retain our length all right watch out for my next video on how i section my hair and prep my hair um, this new relaxer process um, routine that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a little bit similar to this, but it's going to be smaller, right? All right, so just watch out for that video next week. And please click that thumbs up button, like this video, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.